Sugarcane production begins with the choice of cane varieties to be planted based on local soil and climate conditions. Choosing the right varieties ensures productivity and resistance to disease. More than 600 varieties have been developed in Brazil. The use of fertilizers is limited because solid residues from sugarcane processing are used in the fields to offset traditional fertilizers. Filter cake, for example, rich in phosphorus, is recovered at the mill and utilized as an organic fertilizer. Residue samples are first analyzed in a lab to determine the volumes that can be applied. Once the exact contents are known, the residue is loaded onto trucks and carried to the fields. Sugarcane stalks developed especially for use as seedlings are scattered over the soil by planting machines. The seeds are actually clumps of sugarcane. As it's pulled by a tractor, the machine opens a groove separates the clumps and places them in the soil. On average, a cane field must be replanted every six years. Brazil is the world's largest sugarcane producer, responsible for 35% of global production. Cane fields cover about 8 million hectares, or about 20 million acres, or 2.5% of the country's arable land. Another residue of sugarcane processing is known as vinyas. Its contents are rich in potassium and other nutrients. Canal systems are often used to carry the vinyas to various points in a cane field. Applying vinyas as an organic fertilizer is a process known as fertirrigation. The practice is tightly regulated by environmental authorities. It reduces the use of petroleum-based fertilizers which cuts down emissions that contribute to the greenhouse effect. Biological techniques are also widely used in cane fields. Natural enemies are introduced to fight pests and disease, further reducing the use of industrialized chemicals.